Hey, Ken here, Old Man Rider. It's about 50 days, that's seven weeks, to Michigan Mountain Mayhem 2019. That's happening on June 15th. The weather's turning nice. It's not here yet. I've been able to get out once, but it's snowing again, so it's back up here on the trainer and continuing to work out in this nice controlled environment, which has turned out to be really helpful as I've been trying to implement this lactic threshold heart rate protocol to figure out the numbers so I can figure out the heart rate zones recommended by Joel Friel and others. And, I, and I've done it. I've done it a number of times in the two that I'm counting as my best efforts as far as most consistent, closest to protocol, is 154 beats per minute and 157 beats per minute through the test. Um, I'm going to round that off to 155 beats per minute, which happens to be an estimate from a couple of years ago. So three times consistent, that must be something. Now, you have to understand heart rate zones are statistical averages, a bunch of people working out uh, with lab tests, without lab tests, different ages, everybody thrown in. So the exact numbers that come out of these zones may or may not be perfect for an individual, but they're good rules of thumb. Uh, you can type them into your, your uh, Garmin and get you know, exact numbers. Um, but again, we're going to kind of hold that loosely and, and consider them great rules of thumb. And the rules of thumb are much lower heart rates than I've considered the appropriate heart rate to target for the goals that I have been working on without having this uh, LTHR number to kind of inform that. The last couple of weeks, I've really been focusing in on the heart rate zone workout, specifically the aerobic threshold workout. That's a one to two hour ride at hopefully constant power. I don't have a power meter, so that is a constant cadence and constant resistance, multiplying those together, constant power. Uh, it's been really, really a good discipline. It is not the way I have worked out before, and I think that I'm gonna use this as a, a learning tool. These uh, workouts, you know, constant, constant uh, cadence and watch the heart rate go up and, and spread out to that zone that you want to target. Um, in this case, it's kind of the low zone two range. Exact numbers again, referenced by uh, Joel Friel in his books and writings down in the notes. And there's a spreadsheet to help you figure this out down in the notes too. Um, nothing different than anyone else. It's just simple math once you have that uh, LTHR number. Anyway, it's much lower and I've adjusted the cadence um, so that my heart rate is in that range during during this workout for for one to two hours um, much lower heart rate over average than i thought uh, part of what has happened in my you know, personal workouts trying to do my best heart rate up and down trying to um, keep a constant perceived effort um, i don't think i'm really good at that in constant cadence you know targeting my riding to be a constant cadence and watching that evolve the heart rate evolve over you know one to two hours has been really really an interesting thing to watch and i've had to adjust that cadence you know before my heart rate is up to stay disciplined to have have the curve flatten out um, to hopefully focus in on increasing my aerobic capacity excuse me my aerobic threshold two different things one's a hit workout one's a two-hour workout totally different anyway uh, going forward uh, with the numbers, I'm now going to spend this next week really focusing in and biasing towards the lactate threshold workouts, which is more of an intervals thing at a specific heart rate. Be disciplined to find the right set point there and to, to dial in on that and to use these numbers to really do better workouts. Uh, the other thing that uh, the LTHR numbers and the zones have really kind of changed my thinking is recovery writing. Uh, I've been doing a lot of passive recovery, which is my way to take credit for not having time to get up on the bike at all in the last couple of weeks. Well, not having time to get up on the bike to do easy recovery riding in the last couple of weeks. The heart rate target zones are much lower than I've usually done, which is a good thing because there's a lot of community riding I'd like to do this season that I've brushed off as, you know, too simple, uh, why bother kind of waste of time writing that if I schedule it into my workout schedule I'll be able to have the best of both worlds do some community rides, but also do a good active 
recovery ride, keeping my heart rate in the zone that's recommended by the experts. So all of that to say, I think I've learned something. I think I'm correcting my workouts or optimizing them at any rate. And um, I'm going to consider it a lesson learned. So the next step is to bring that lactate threshold workout into my personal experience to share it and also to make a real live schedule for these last seven weeks. So that's it. That's the goal. That's where I'm headed. This is Ken from Old Man Rider. I'll see you later.